y'all. Welcome to Bluff City Life with me, Gina Neely. We have a great show planned for you today, so grab your lunch and come on back. <laughs> To splurge or to save. If you don't have a set plan for your tax refund, Rise Memphis has tips to help you stretch your return. Plus, in your career, there's always going to be challenges. One Memphis coach says he has the formula to help you thrive through it all. But first, as tech advances and robots become more prominent and proficient in almost every industry, you can, keep, you can be the one that keeps them in check. This Northwest Wednesday, we're making a quick trip to the campus to become a technician. Check it out. I love my job. It's a great job. It's very interesting. We are teaching most all these students how to operate in this room, operate the robots, the different types of robots that we have. This is where we teach them how to program slightly, but the main thing is we want them to be able to recover and uh, be able to read the code that is in the program. Most every industry out there uses a robot nowadays. Most every industry out there uses all this equipment that we use. Everything that we have, you will find in an industry. The main thing they're looking at is a technician type job uh, to where they keep the components running in the industry. Um, if something fails or breaks down, they can readily fix it and get it back online as quick as possible so they can go back to having production. It's a very important job. Somebody needs to be there readily available to get that crashed robot back up online so that it can continue to do the tasks that it needs to do. Um, it's a two-year program. We start out coming to school. They come five days a week um, in the first semester, and then it gets broken down later on into your regular two or three days a week, depending on what class we're taking. We, they will learn motor controls, how to control motors, how to control those. They will learn about PLCs, uh, programmable logic controllers. They will learn everything from a push button, start, stop station, to being able to program a collaborative robot. That is a collaborative robot. What that means is it works in collaboration with humans. It will be able to assist humans in their job. So it takes some of that labor intensive work, gives it to the robot and takes it away from the actual human. They also learn about transformers and your different types of power. We also learn about digital and binary because all of your computers, your cell phones, anything nowadays uses digital or binary code in it. And they need to be able to understand it to be able to read it and see what it says. Most all of our students that come out of here get placed in a job almost immediately. A lot of them have more than one job that they can choose from. They can make real good money and they've got a lot of room to grow with that industry. Uh, and they can move up the ladder and make more and more money and provide for their family as time goes on. Northwest takes great pride in the students that they put out into the workforce. We train them knowing that when they go out into the workforce, they're going to have the name of Northwest Community College above them, and we want them to be able to produce and do quality work out there for their employer. This program is a good choice for the reason that there is a need for technicians in Mississippi right now, especially up here in the north part of Mississippi. They can come here, get education in the industrial field, and they should not have any trouble whatsoever getting a job as a technical, as a technician. Next on Bluff City Life, with your refund, will you travel, shop, or save? Rise Memphis is here with some financial tips that make the most of your tax return. <laughs> 